Hello Grade 7, hope you are all well. Welcome to our Natural Sciences Lesson 2 on the 21st of April. Today's lesson will be a recap of sexual reproduction in humans. The word reproduction means to make more of. So in the case of human reproduction, it means exactly that. We are making more humans. So as a person grows from being a child to an adult, their body will develop in a process resulting in them becoming a mature adult who is able to reproduce. Right, so boys and girls will both have different changes in their journey from being a child to an adult. The start of these changes is known as puberty. The changes that occur can be physical, behavioral, psychological, and emotional. It is very important that you have the correct knowledge about what happens during puberty. The main purpose of sexual reproduction is to have a baby, thereby increasing the population. As you have learned with sexual reproduction in angiosperms, which we did previously, two sex cells must join together to form a new human being. The male sex cell is called sperm and the female sex cell is called an ovum or an egg. When you look in the image on the slide, you can see a sperm that is fertilizing an egg. Right, let's talk a little bit about puberty. Humans are born with reproductive organs, but these only mature during adolescence, which is a stage that starts from about nine years old and continues up until 18 years old. Puberty is the first part of adolescence when most changes start to happen. Let's look at a few new words and what they mean. Physical means to do with the actual body. Psychological to do with the brain. Emotional to do with the way you feel. Opposite sex, opposite of boy is girl and vice versa. Sex is male or female. Body odor, a bad smell from unwashed or sweaty body. Pubic, relating to a person's private parts. And semen, liquid containing sperm that comes from a male. As we go through the slides, there'll be more keywords that we will learn about. So the physical changes in girls and boys, there are some similarities and there are some differences. Right, every person is different, so puberty happens in different people at different ages. Now, these things can be due to genetics, environmental factors, health, fitness levels, and diet. Girls generally start developing first, but some girls will only develop in their late teens. Same with boys. Everything is normal. Don't worry if you haven't had all these changes happen to you, or if you have. Again, this is normal. Hormones are responsible for most of the emotional, physical, behavioral, and psychological changes that happen during puberty. Right, some more terms. I won't explain these terms. You can read through them and you can write them in your workbook. Right, so let's look at some differences in the changes between boys and girls. So boys will tend to grow taller and very quickly. Growth in height can continue until the age of 21. The skin becomes oily and can cause pimples. The voice becomes deeper. A lot of the times we say the boy's voice is breaking. Now sweat. Boys will tend to sweat a lot and this can sometimes smell. Body hair starts to grow on the chest, under the arms, the pubic area, as well as hair growing on the face. The testes will start producing the male sex cells, which we call sperm. The testes and the penis will also grow larger in size. A liquid containing sperm may be released from the penis. Remember, a boy does not have control over this. This action is called ejaculation. For some boys, many of them, this release sometimes happens at night. This is called nocturnal emission. Testosterone is the main male hormone which causes these changes and a lot of boys will become more emotional than normal. Right, let's speak about some physical changes in girls. Girls will also grow taller and quickly. Their growth in height can continue up until the age of 21. 
Similarly, as with the boys, the skin also becomes oily and pimples can occur. Sweat again. Girls will also start to sweat a lot more than they used to. Body hair will also grow under the arms, pubic hair around the vagina. Breasts will start to grow larger in size. Hips become wider to prepare for childbearing. The ovaries will start to release mature female sex cells, which we know as the ova or eggs. Now, a very important physical change in girls that you may or may have not noticed happen to you as a girl, menstruation begins. This is a normal part of every female's life. So what happens? An egg is not fertilized. It becomes absorbed by the body and released through the vagina along with blood. A menstrual cycle is also called a period where a woman or a young girl will bleed for three to seven days once in a month. Right, in this diagram here, these are the male reproductive organs. It's very important that you know how to label the diagram and that you know the function of each of the parts. You will not be required to ever draw this diagram. On this slide, we have an image of the female reproductive organs. Again, you will need to know how to label as well as know the functions of each of the different parts, what they actually do. Right, fertilization. With all living things, fertilization happens when sperm joins the egg. So semen will travel up the vagina after sexual intercourse and travel through the cervix to enter the uterus. Once a month during a stage with, that we call ovulation, a female will release an egg which will sit inside the uterus. If sperm enters her uterus and joins with the egg, fertilization will occur. Please do make sure to watch the video included on the slide to see how fertilization actually happens. Menstruation. In preparation for fertilization, a woman's uterus will start producing a thick lining of tissue and muscle, which will be the ideal location for a fertilized egg to attach and grow into a baby. Even if a female does not have sexual intercourse, she will still produce an egg once a month. This normally happens around day 14, but can happen a lot earlier in the menstrual cycle. If an egg is not fertilized, it will be absorbed by the thick uterine lining made up of muscle and tissue. This is the lining that will start to break down if the egg is not fertilized, which causes bleeding out of the vagina. This is menstruation or a period. A period will occur every 28 days, sometimes more or less, and can last for three up to seven days. The first sign of a period normally counts as day one of the menstrual cycle. Hormones are responsible for the menstrual cycle. These hormones can cause girls to become more emotional during this time. The main hormone involved in the menstrual cycle will be estrogen. Right, this image shows you the menstrual cycle. So if you look at day one, Menstruation occurs right up until day seven. The word infertile means pregnancy is unlikely to happen because the egg has not been released from the ovary as yet. Then day eight to day 19, we say that a female can be fertile. So this is where the ovum or the egg is released from the ovary and sits inside the fallopian tube, waiting for possible fertilization. So if the female has sexual intercourse in this period, it is highly possible that she will become pregnant. Then day 20, to day 26 or 32, depending on how long your cycle is, we would say that the girl would be unfertile, unlikely that the egg would be fertilized. Pregnancy. Pregnancy occurs when an egg is fertilized. So the egg will wait for possible fertilization by sperm in the fallopian tubes. 
Once the egg is fertilized, it becomes known as a zygote. It will move down into the uterus and attach to that uterine lining made up of muscle and tissue where it will develop into a baby. The female will not have any menstrual period during this time of pregnancy. It takes 40 weeks from conception when fertilization occurs for a baby to grow and develop. That is actually 10 months, even though we know pregnancy to be nine months. The baby will be called an embryo up until nine weeks, and then from there it is called a fetus. Ways to prevent pregnancy. Using methods of contraception will help to prevent pregnancy. Males can wear a condom, which will prevent sperm from entering the female. Female condoms work in the same way. They also prevent sperm from entering the female. Females can also go on the contraceptive pill, which prevents eggs from being released from the ovary. The best way to not fall pregnant, however, is to abstain from having sex. The word abstain means to not have sex at all. STDs, which are known as sexually transmitted diseases. Now, these are diseases or infections that are transmitted through having sexual intercourse. Common examples include gonorrhea, syphilis, pubic lice or crabs, genital herpes, as well as HIV. HIV is a virus that attacks the good disease-fighting cells in your body. HIV can then become AIDS, which is acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Most people will die from AIDS-related diseases because their bodies cannot fight normal infections. AIDS cannot be cured, but it can be managed by medication. Only condoms and other barrier methods of contraception will protect you from STDs, but they are not 100% effective. Only abstinence, which means abstaining or not having sex, will provide 100% protection against STDs. Grade sevens, I hope you do have a better understanding of human reproduction. In the next lesson, we'll be covering the topic of variation. Until then, stay home and stay safe. See you all again soon.